Shalom. I'm your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Midlands. Before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And Shalom unto the hopeful elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Just a quick lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, concerning the true names of our power, being the Heavenly Father, you know, whose name is Yahweh, which means He is, He exists, He to be. And the true name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, you know, our Savior, you know, whose name is, it means, excuse me, His name means He delivers. Okay, so his name is a omen nomen. All right, it's a name prediction. All right, and these are the names, you know, that we're going to have to call upon, you know, during the time of trouble, man. All right, and that time of trouble is right around the corner. All right, you know, you have a, you know, a lot of men amongst the circum circumcision, you know, men that know, you know, that they're Israelites, you know, who's taken lightly of the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, you know, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. All right, but, you know, they're about to find out, you know, that's the only names, you know, that you're going to be able to call upon, you know, to get you out of, you know, these hells to come. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the book of um, Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, The name of the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. So the scriptures told us, you know, that the very name, you know, of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is a strong tower, you know, meaning that it's a safety, okay? It is a refuge, all right? And when all hell breaks loose, you know, in the time of Jacob's trouble, in the time of World War III, in the time of famines, all right, chaos and anarchy, all right? That's going to be your only strong tower. That's going to be your only refuge. All right. So reading it again, it says the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, is a strong tower. And it's a refuge, man. Okay. It says the righteous. And who's the righteous? The righteous is the elect. All right. Amongst the house of Israel. You know, the one third. All right. Which consists of the 144,000. And of course, the great multitude spoken about. And uh, Revelation, the seventh chapter, it says the righteous runneth into it. And how are you going to run into it? You're going to call upon those names, man. All right. You're going to be calling on your how about Shema Shai to deliver you, man. All right. And it says and it's safe. All right. So when you call upon the true names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, you know, it's a strong tower. It's a refuge. And you're going to run into it. You're going to call upon it. And you're going to be safe. All right. Adawan Ratazah, Lord's willing. You know, we are a part of, you know, that hopeful elect. All right. So let's go to another thing. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, um, the first chapter. Okay. Because you're going to have, you know, men, you know, of Israel who know the true names. All right. But when they call upon the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, is not going to hear them. All right, so um, I could really start at the top, but for the lack of time, I'm gonna get straight to the point. All right, it says Proverbs one and twenty six, and the point is in twenty eight. It says, "I also will laugh at your calamity; I will mock when your fear cometh." And this is. You know, addressed to the two thirds, you know, who would not take the counsel and the reproof of Yahweh Bashim Shai through his men, you know, the prophets. All right. And the way that Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to laugh at their calamity is through the prophets. It says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Yeah. You got to understand Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to be judging, you know, the two thirds of the nation of Israel. And he knows your every fear, man. All right. He created us, man. All right. 
And, you know, he said he going to mock when your fear coming. You know, the scriptures say in Galatians, the sixth chapter, you know, that the most high is not mock. All right. Whatsoever a man. So, you know, that's what he's going to reap. All right. To roughly paraphrase it. All right. But verse 27, it says, when the fear, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Yeah. And that's all going to come, you know, during the time. A Jacob's trouble all right you know you how about Shemel Shai is gonna have you know Israelites dying you know by way of these troops you know you how about Shemel Shai is gonna have them dying by way of famine all right by way of you know the chariots coming back because you gotta remember the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back you know with the heavenly army all right the heavenly host all right it's gonna be many ways you know the teeth of wild beasts many ways you how about Shemel Shai is gonna be taken out you know two-thirds man okay but verse 28 is the point. It says, then shall they call upon me. So you see, they're going to wait. All right. All the way up until the time of trouble to try to call upon, you know, um, Yahweh Shai. But it says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early and they shall not find me. So it's going to be too late. All right. And that's a big reason why the scriptures tell us in Isaiah, you know, 55 and 6. Let me get straight to the point. Um, Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord. Right? It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, while he may be found. All right? Meaning there's going to be a time to where you're not going to be able to seek out the scriptures. You know, find the Lord, you know, through the scriptures and through his men, the prophets. All right? Because there's going to be a famine of the word. All right? According to Amos 8 and 11. All right. It says, call ye upon him while he is near, showing you that we have the true names. All right. And we have this grace period, this liberty, all right, this freedom to call upon the names right now. All right. But the two thirds, man, they're going to wait until it's too late, man. All right. And that's what we don't want to do, man. All right. We don't want to wait until it's too late, man. All right. Proverbs 1 and 28. Then shall they call upon me. Talking about the two thirds of the house of Israel. All right. Where judgment is going to begin, you know, first Peter's four and 17, it says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Yeah. So the Lord ain't going to be hearing your prayer, man. All right. The Lord ain't going to be hearing your cry. All right. It says, then shall they seek me early, but they shall not find me. All right. Then they're going to have a sense of urgency to try to run, you know, to try to call upon the true names of Yahweh Shema Shai and try to seek after his men. All right. But it's going to be too late, man. All right. You don't want to wait until it's too late, man. You don't want to play, you know, with the true names of Yahweh Hashem Shai. And you don't want to play, you know, with his prophets, you know, who's giving you warning, man. All right. Who have, you know, the um, the secrets. All right. You know, according to Amos 3 and 7, you know, Yahweh Hashem Shai reveals his secrets unto his service, the prophets, man. All right. But um, this is Zechariah um, 13. And uh, verse eight, it says, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Yeah, this is, you know, the two thirds scripture. All right. Two, two thirds of the house of Israel is about to be judged severely, you know, in the times to come, you know, in the time of Jacob's trouble. It says, but the third shall be left therein. And that's the righteous man. That's the elect. OK, the the, the one third. All right, the elect is about to be preserved during these times. All right. It says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and we will find them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. Yeah. You know, Yahweh Shem Shai is putting us, you know, through the, the furnace of adversity, you know, going back to, you know, Ecclesiastes or the book of Sirach 2 and 5. All right. You know, because he likens us unto, um, you know, silver and gold. And one thing about those elements you know, if you want pure gold or refined silver, you know, you have to put it through the fire. So we're being tried. You know, we're going through our trials and our tribulations right now. All right. And that final test or that final tr um, trying. All right. That final uh, purging, if you will, is going to be during the hour of temptation, man, during the time of Jacob's trouble. It says it says, then shall they call on my name. All right. Talking about the one third, the elect. It says, then it says they shall call on my name, excuse me, and I will hear them. So you see, there's a difference between 
the one third, the elect, all right, and the two thirds, all right, you know, the, the rebellious, all right. It said, they shall call on my name and I will hear them. So the Lord's going to hear the one third, man. It says, and I will say, it is my people and they shall say, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai is my power. All right, so we want to be a part of the one third, man. All right, we want Yahweh Shem Shai to hear, you know, our cry in our prayer, man. All right, because that is surely our strong tower, our refuge, our safety, all right, in the times of hell that is to come, man. So we don't want to play with the true names of Yahweh, you know, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father. All right, Bahasham, which means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his son. So Lord with us is edifying. And with that, sincere Shalom to you, hopeful elect. Shalom.